Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Dallas. Thank you so much for staying with me while I was away just for a few moments. Hopefully the music entertained you. And I'm back. I promised you we're going to talk money this morning. I have Joe Duran. He's head of Goldman Sachs Personal Finance Management. And he's here to kind of weave a little bit of the pandemic in it along with money. Joe, thank you so very much for being here today. Thank you, Valder. Uh, I love Dallas, so it's great to be on with you. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for the great compliment about my name. I really appreciate that. I will use that to fuel my day, okay? Okay, good. All right, let's get started. You know, it's been a year of uncertainty, Joe. You know, I don't know. If I ever meet anybody who say they saw the pandemic coming, I'll probably slap them. Because mm. nobody saw this coming, or the people we know didn't see this coming. Yeah, nobody saw this coming, uh, you know, and it led to one of the most abrupt, steepest, quickest declines we've seen, 35% drop in about six weeks. It's never happened in the history of the market. And then an abrupt recovery that was almost as extreme, it left people with real whiplash. And now, of course, we've got the elections coming. We don't know if the pandemic is resurging. It appears to be so in Europe. And of course, we've got incredibly low interest rates, which nobody expected going into the year when we were over 2% on the 10-year bond, and now we're at half a percent. So retirees are wondering, what should I do now with uh, tech stocks going crazy on the upside, with interest rates so low? Uh, it's a very, very confusing time for investors, for sure. Well, there's some. these are all big challenges in our economy. What have you been advising your clients about this uncertainty of this global pandemic? Well, the first and foremost is to not make emotional decisions. You know, it's very natural when, especially when your life is upended the way it has been, to feel emotionally vested and feel like you must do something. And sometimes, especially in times of turbulence, you really need to have your emotions in check. Uh, you don't want to make binary decisions, in or out, because uh, the mistakes of that can be very, very important. If you sold at the very low when it was most scary in the pandemic, you would have missed this whole recovery. So don't make binary emotional decisions. The second is have to, you need to have the perspective of time. Almost all investors are thinking about what their money needs to do over their lifetime. And so you need to make decisions not for today, but for three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. And lastly, really importantly, have an advisor at your side that really understands you and can put what's happening in context and help take care of your blind spots, who understands when you're getting emotional, calms you down and says, hey, listen, let's think about where you're going and where you need to be. We think about a great advisor is not that different than a doctor or a good lawyer. Their job is to advise and counsel you. And they do that best by understanding you really well and making sure you make great decisions. When we have a are lucky, if you're lucky enough to have a financial advisor, because there's a lot of people in that group you talked about, which is retirees, which are usually baby boomers or uh, silent seniors. So when you have a financial advisor, I, and I got to know this, uh, are they trying to advise us on what's best for us or what's best for their company or what's best? best for their bonus. Sometimes we don't know. Well, there's one simple way to tell. How much time do you spend talking versus listening to them talk? If an advisor is doing all the talking, telling you what you should or shouldn't do, and doesn't spend their time understanding who you are, what you need, what you're going through, that is the first and most important test of whether they're there to serve you or whether they're there to serve their own interests. A great advisor starts and ends his advice or her advice around your needs. And that can't happen if they don't understand you. So the, the first and most important test is, do they know who I am? Do they know what I want? And second, do they have the resources and reach to help you solve your problems? Uh, obviously, a Goldman Sachs has been around for 150 years with a gold standard for people with tens of millions of dollars, and now we're able to serve clients with millions of dollars. Uh, and the, the, the common theme is bringing the best of Goldman Sachs and our best knowledge and expertise to you one-to-one -one with a deeply personal relationship with an advisor. Uh, and we know that that combination is how you win over time. 
I want my audience to know that Joe Duran, he's head of Goldman Sachs Personal Financial Management. Joe, I want to ask you one thing that you said. You're, you're, you're the financial rock stars, in a sense, uh, to people with millions of dollars and million dollars. What about people who don't have that amount of money? Is Goldman Sachs a place for us? Yes, it is. Uh, our, our job is to help to to help you make great choices. And you can start by going to our website. If you go to goldmanpfm.com, then you'll be able to actually see the ways in which we can help you, no matter how much you have. Again, this is relatively new for us. We've spent most of our lives at Goldman serving a particular kind of client. Uh, I personally, though, have spent my whole life helping the millionaire next door. That's what I've done for 30 years. And our amazing advisors, which, by the way, in Texas, and in Dallas in particular, we have some of the most amazing advisors you could ask for, uh, who really spend their lives working with everyday Americans and making sure that they, they live richly, not just die rich, but that you live richly right now, that you make good choices right now that, that help you not just take care of your blind spots, but optimize the way you use your money to live a great life. Joe, my time is running out, but I got to get this question in from social media. It's a great question. The poster says that she has an account right now, uh, an investment account. But if she wanted to transfer it to Goldman Sachs and work with Goldman Sachs, is there a tax penalty or any kind of financial penalty on that? Uh, if you transfer existing positions, the answer is no. It's when you sell those positions. So it really depends. Is it in a retirement account? Then the answer is definitely no. If it's in a taxable account, it depends on whether we change the portfolio. And when those changes occur, there might be built-in losses. There might be gains. So it's really a unique and specific solution. We can answer that for you right away. If you go online, speak to one of our advisors, we can tell you right now what the tax consequences can be. And by the way, she needs to know if she, I think you mentioned she's at Fidelity or wherever she is, you can actually almost always with a custodian look at the built-in gains or losses on the portfolio and, and get that answer right away. But the, the tax implication is not when you transfer, it's when you do something with the underlying money, either sell a position or, or do something, presuming it's a taxable account. I want to thank the poster for that uh, question. And Joe Duran, I want to thank you for being such a great guest and answering my guest question and giving us something to understand. So we're going to go online. Give me that website once again. It's goldmanpfm.com. Thank you. And it was great to be on. I hope you have a fantastic morning. And thank you so much. Stay healthy. Stay well. You bet. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>